that is what is happening and I am deaf, almost deaf and I'm pretty sure if I stay up for another half an hour or something, I'm gonna go completely deaf, but who cares? Anyways, this is the Emirates, welcome to the Emirates Drift Championship. Now, Emirates Drift Championship is, is, is a two months kind of competition, actually a monthly, a month competition which happens during, um, I think, the February. So during the month of February, there are three rounds. The first one happened in Abu Dhabi, the second one in Ras Al Khaimah, another track which is on the other side of the city. And the third and the final round is today, which is happening at this auto show where they've also made up this track. Now, this track has been specially made and there you go, the cars are back again. As I was saying, God, it's too bright. Yes, again, it had rained yesterday pretty much a lot and I wasn't, I wasn't hoping the competition would happen today because um, the amount of rain was quite a bit. But luckily, it's become a clean day, as you can see, bright blue skies and a cool day. The temperature is about 24 degrees, which is just perfect. And watching these cars slide around is just so much fun so i'm gonna try to get some team member to come and talk on this video if possible because i know it's it's a final day and the final round and the teams are all tucked in over there they are all preparing the cars and i don't want to get in their way and disturb them while they are preparing but i'm gonna try and talk to any of them an engineer or anything because that does, that will give us a very detailed uh, kind of information into what goes into preparing these cars which look mental these cars look mental anyways i'm gonna show you all the actual racetrack without me in front of the camera now these these cars are so loud these cars are freaking loud uh, let's let's see the other one uh, i don't know if my cameras can pick up how loud these cars are I've already destroyed a few microphones before on a track day, but this is an altogether different. These animals, these are animals, literally. Another BMW. Getting ready. Look at him popping his engine back firing. That is literally the best thing I've seen today. I think for a long, long time. I've never witnessed drifting and this to be witnessing this. Oh my god, this is amazing. So apparently what is going on is they there's a top 32 qualifying round that is going on and out of that top 16 are going to start later on in the evening and from the top 16 they're going to do a final and I'll stop talking because it's going to get really loud. Ooh, that was a near miss. That was a near miss. You see the so the track is laid out in an eight pattern that's what you can see the cars are doing an eight a pattern of eight because yeah I think that gives them the maximum drift area because they go they start from here and then they go around and then they go and I'll show you the, the, the eight that they make. Just observe the, the eight in the drift pattern that they do. They'll go from here and on the other side and then from, the, uh, from around again. Uh, 
amazing. Now, as you can see, I've managed to come at the back end, which is the pit of all the teams, and that is where everything is going on. Some teams are chilling because probably their cars are ready for the final round. And particularly, this is the station where the teams can fill air in their tires and pretty much all the teams have to come here and get their tires fixed. This is another team and it's quite a big one with four cars and their personal garage and a lounge area. Which is not quite bad. <laughs> the fun part about being at the, at the, in the into the pits when you get an access to the pit because it gets you really connected with all the race preparation that goes into making these cars race ready for the final rounds and as you can see more work is going on on that car and especially this car check the bumper it's already shredded it's probably had some damage and you can see the entire left side rear bit has been damaged but also you can see the cars are pretty much stripped down and they are lightweight and all of it is made out of fiberglass because it's easier to make and it's light and it's durable and these cars can go light and some of the cars don't even have bumpers as you can see here in this one let me show you a stripped out how stripped out these cars are this bmw it's got quite funky wheels but as I was mentioning, these are completely stripped out versions. Check this out. It's literally bare naked. Only a speedometer with some details out there and a straightforward steering wheel. Look at the, 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 the steering arm that has been adjusted again for the driver. And that is the handbrake, that is the gears. And all of it is pretty much stripped out. There are no seats, nothing. Literally, the fuse box the lines some some of the lines the batteries behind which has been shifted from the front to the back now but as you can see it takes quite an effort to participate in this as mentioned before i finally managed to grab this busy gentleman mr nikitas now actually he's from greece he's just come flown specially here to race in the uh, to for the drifting competition specially and he has agreed to have a chat for a while and explain what goes into really you know running a team and being a driver himself so Nick Ness, how are you hello great how are I'm you good thank you nice so to meet run you. me through your car because uh, it looks really interesting run me through your car oh. what, what like okay just a basic. here we have an e36 mm -hmm. uh, it's an m3 chassis mm -hmm. uh, swapped with an ls3 engine inside it has a dog box and a windows differential on the back running on hsds and slr kit on the front uh, it's not actually my car. I've been uh, came from Greece to drive it. Wow! In uh, the round three uh, right. of uh, Emirates Drift Championship. Yeah. Uh, the car seems really reliable. It's mm -hmm. a stock LS3 at the moment. Uh, just a couple of headers and nothing to tune. Right. Maybe it has like 15 more horsepower, but it runs really nice and smooth. Yeah. It's really fun to drive and easy. Yeah. Even easier than my car in Greece. Yeah. I drive an S13. SR20, but this NA power is much easier to drive and really nice. Right. So it's looking good. And and there are some body changes that yeah, you've yeah, done the to body, the car. Yeah, yeah. The body on the car, the kit, mm -hmm. it's uh, the Pandem for E36. Okay. It's all around, everywhere, front, back, and the side. Mm -hmm. It makes the car way wider. Yeah. Way wider. Yeah. I it can even see makes that. the 18 wheels look small. Yeah. Yeah. If you see some stamps, uh, E36 with uh, this kind of body kit to look good, they have like 19 wheels, on, so it, it fill up the like space. Really, yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. Out, but yeah. for competition, the car works really good with 18. Right. And so it has 18 with two six fives on the back. Uh huh. So it gets grip. Right. It's really good. And by the way, he just explained me as well that there are. I, I, by the way, I didn't know before that drift cars had two sort of calipers behind yeah, it where has only a dual, one is used yeah. yeah it has a dual caliper setup so you have a separate caliper on your handbrake mm -hmm. so it doesn't affect your brake right. so if you want to handbrake and brake together mm -hmm. it doesn't affect one each other mm -hmm. because if you do it in a sequential order mm -hmm. like you have the handbrake in line right. when you handbrake and brake it's 
pushing your uh, your level. Yeah, yeah. So you have a different setup for this. Right, right. So wow, I didn't know separate. that. And thank you for explaining me that. He was really patient in explaining all of whatever questions I was throwing at him. But he has been an absolute gentleman explaining the entire car. I mean, that's that's really nice of you. And I think I'll wish you best of luck for thank today you. evening. Yeah. Thank you very much. And I'm going to be hanging around to watch Have you and cheer for you. By the way, I own a BMW. So oh, team good. BMW in that case. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. So as promised, I tried to get someone to explain me what goes into these cars and how, how complicated it is. And turns out it is quite a bit because some of the cars are heavily modern as we saw in the video. But thank to Nikitas for explaining me what goes basically into just running a basic team and as you can see it's quite complicated so the drifting competition is going to start in about an hour from now so the teams are just busy and i don't want to get in their way of preparation if you've enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and a sub will be massively appreciated and i'm gonna go and enjoy this evening of fun film motorsport at its best until we meet next time, bye-bye.